Our next proclamation, item 6.2, is uh, recognizing the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center and the San Ramon American Muslim Community for the contributions of American Muslims to the San Ramon community. Uh, is Sobia here? Did I pronounce that right, Sobia? And uh, you brought with you your vice president. Is it, is it Thiessen? Okay, and Nadia, you're... That was a tough one to figure out. <laughs> Please join me up here. We have a proclamation for you. Recognizing San Ramon Valley Islamic Center, and the San Ramon American Health Community for their contribution to the San Ramon community. But whereas San Ramon is home to the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center, which is dedicated to serving the spiritual needs of San Ramon Muslim community and promoting interfaith cooperation by providing an environment for dialogue, education, and fellowship. And whereas the SRBIC has provided many volunteer services to the San Ramon community, including but not limited to the following. Partnering with the International Rescue Committee to support newly arriving refugees to the Bay Area and help with apartment setup for families. That has got to be a job itself. Parking, I'm sorry, packing and distributing 100,000 pounds of food staples and masks to at risk communities in the Bay Area through their You Are Not Alone program in partnership with Support Life Foundation and other Bay Area <laughs> Sponsoring the SRPIC blood drive, the American Red Cross. Being one of the largest donors to the Contra Costa Food Bank, donating twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars every year. In addition to the estimated one hundred and fifty thousand donations to community members in need. Maintain a section of Highway 680 southbound as part of the Adopt the Highway program. Whereas Muslims have been part of the U.S. history from the beginning and have contributed to the production of wealth and construction of the nation, they are also part of the rich history of the Civil Rights. And whereas almost 10,000 Muslims reside in Pakistan County and make innumerable contributions to the cultural, political, and economic fabric and well-being of California and the United States. Now, whereas American Muslims are teachers, lawyers, doctors, social workers, tech workers, nurses, and business owners, among numerous other value professions, as well as each builder, activists, entrepreneurs, and politicians. Now, whereas the California City Assembly has recognized the month of August 2022 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness. And whereas it is appropriate to acknowledge and promote awareness of the million of valuable contributions of American Muslims in California and across the country and extend to them the respect and camaraderie of every American leader. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City Council of the City of San Ramon does hereby proclaim its appreciation for the efforts of the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center and the American Muslim community and contribution. To the San Ramon community and for the lasting positive impact they have made towards the advancement of our city center. Thank you, sir. I'm doing this lightly. We want to speak to the cameras that keep going. I'll let you hold this. And who wants to be the first speaker? <laughs> speaker here. Be sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, take 40 minutes. And in the name of Allah, most beneficent and most merciful, Mayor Hudson, Council Member, thank you for honoring the American Muslims of San Ramon with the proclamation for the recognition of the American Muslim Month. The San Ramon Valley Islamic Center was set up more than 25 years ago, and our members have been a vibrant part of this community. At our center, we have witnessed generation of, a generation of American Muslims grew up, go to school, work, and eventually returning here to grow their families. In the past year, San Ramon Valley Islamic Center held blood drive with the American Red Cross as one of the largest donors to the Contra Costa Food Bank during our Ramadan food drive. Also, um, our team member, our community members are also part of the community highway cleanup program. In the last years, the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center together with other community organizations in San Ramon rallied more than $100,000 of resources to help the displaced people from Afghanistan. We, the, the center also received a $50,000 grant, grant from Welcome USA towards our refugee relief effort 
which were, and we were one of the 30 organizations across the whole United States to have received that grant. So once again, we thank you for the proclamation and we wish everyone a good evening. Did you want to speak? No, you have to introduce yourself. No, nope. please don't go away yet. So, Dana, do you have comments? We'll start with this data and we'll move down through some of the council well, I just want to say thank you for everything you do in the community and especially, you know, I've been part of some of the food drives and uh, the things we do. And particularly during Ramadan, when we are not eating as Muslims and being able to distribute that food. So appreciate everything you've done in the community. And thank you, ladies, for serving on the board there. Well, I also want to thank you very much for all the work you do. And I, I know you, you do a lot in terms of particularly welcoming uh, people from overseas and uh, your food drives and, and we thank you very much you know you used to we used to be across the street from you you know our city hall was across <laughs> the street and and so uh, it, it was always uh, such a good relationship there we've moved over here but thankfully we still have a good relationship so thank you very much for what you do mark yeah thank you very much uh for all your contributions the sponsorships and the food drives and the in the distribution, Red Cross support, that's all just fantastic. You know, faith is such an important aspect of our community. And, and I just want to thank you uh, and the Muslim community for all they've done for their, their contributions uh, for our community. Thank you. Vice Mayor Burroughs. Thank you. Thanks for all your services. If I remember right, you also provide auto um, uh, donations, right, to help the families. Did MCA truly because when I was looking at my used car donation, so one of the things I reviewed and I felt the best place to donate is to MCA. So I donated my car to MCA at that time. So that must, right. So yeah. So thanks. I know uh, the services that you do is fantastic, it, and especially the interfaith uh, that that plays a key role to keep uh, our community safe. And especially this is definitely an important day for me. The timing. Uh, what happened in Albuquerque. Uh, so that's not acceptable in any community, especially in our nation. So it's very sad that these things are happening. And um, it's good that we are recognizing your contributions and you're mm -hmm. always welcome to let us know if how we can help you and make it much better. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, along the same line, um, my neighbor used to be, uh, would always invite me over. Um, I heard actually at one of these meetings like this, that he passed away, uh, Abed Farouk and Amir, I know was there, Ravina. Um, and, you know, it's just, uh, it's one of those things to highlight on what you just heard from Sridhar. Uh, once you become neighbors, most of the other stuff sort of fades away. But then there's that moment that comes up that, you know, something just that should not happen. I'm amazed right now, and you hit on it, and I wanted to highlight this, how many calls I get about visas coming out of Afghanistan that people are still trying to get out of Tajikistan or somewhere to get over here. And I'm, I almost want to tell them, why don't you just go to Mexico and walk across the border? Everybody else is. But it's not funny. I mean, they, these people are trapped there and fear their lives. So I don't know what can be done. We've tried going back through um Congressman, uh, we're kind of in between two congressmen right now. Um, but I, I know it's something that just can't stop because there's still a lot of people there that want to get out. And that program that you have helping these people get uh, reacquainted into our community or get acquainted into our community is much needed. So I can't thank you enough. Uh, any last words you'd like to say or? or? Our interfaith um, program with. Well, is he going to give a speech or is he just going to hide over there? You, you want to come up and say something? Uh -huh. to just to make sure that we're all you know here for each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. like I'll just say something quick. It's, uh, it's an honor being part of this community and uh, mm -hmm. always coming here always feels homey. I mean, this is. A good city that's open-minded, that's receptive to all religions, and we're, we're really happy to be a part of it. Yes. That's kind of the sum of it. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And please stay with it. There's still a lot of work on those visas. <laughs>